Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. Today we are going to show you how to make a very special cake. Yes, so we decided to get really creative with a new tank and we loved how it turned out. So we want to share with you guys exactly how we built it so you can maybe add it to your crab attack. This tank is a 29 gallon with a 20 gallon top exoteric topper on top. Now this process took almost five days start to finish. You do need to plan ahead so that you have enough time uh, for your drying stages. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we did was we cleaned the tank with a vinegar water solution. And then we got out some gray stuff foam and we sprayed that to the back of the tank, adding in any wood features we wanted. We just picked two that we really liked. And I suggest siliconing these to the back wall because this stuff is so very slippery. And we ended up having to tie this piece of wood up to a light in our kitchen so that it would not fall over. Uh, you can see us kind of struggling here. The wood piece keeps slipping. And ideally, you want to keep the great stuff away from the side of your tank and have kind of a valley. You can see on the left-hand side of your screen where the great stuff is not up against the side of the tank. But then on the right side where, that, where we're having trouble with that log, you can see it being squished up against the side, which kind of gave us some headaches later on in the video, which you'll notice. So ahead of time, silicone your wood into place. Um, or tie it up like we did, that worked, but you want to do that before you add your great stuff. Then you want to let your great stuff foam dry for about 48 hours, that's how long it took for ours to dry, and it'll expand a lot more than you think it will, so put a little bit less foam in the beginning and it'll be all good to go. Next we cut uh, caves and shelves into our great stuff foam. You want to make sure to get all of the shiny parts off because this is the toxic part and so you can see here that's what the shiny looks like. Next we vacuumed up all of those pieces that we had cut off. This is what it looked like after that all was done. You can see some of the caves um, that we have in the Great Stuff Foam. We actually carved away all the way back to the glass. And next is adding the silicone. This is 100% silicone. We did white for most of it, but then we realized we should have done brown because the white does show through um, in the end. But we just applied this using our hand and a glove and make sure you have a window, a mask and goggles on because this stuff is very potent. Then we added our Eco Earth on top. You can see here the we switched over to the brown silicone and it looks a lot nicer in the end when you add the eco earth on top. Then we just vacuumed out the extra eco earth. This is after you let it dry for 24 hours. So you're just gonna pack on the eco earth pretty thick and then gently press it into the silicone. Of course the silicone still has to be wet while you're doing this or it has nothing to adhere to. All right, so the next step was adding in the fake plants we wanted on our background. First, we just decided you know, what plants we wanted where, and then we cut off some part of the stem to make them shorter and siliconed them in place. Yeah, we played around with this a lot before we actually um, started this build. Um, we had the tank on the table and I laid all the pieces in there. We took pictures on the phone so we would remember, play around with everything before you actually start the process so you have an idea of where everything's gonna go. This part took us a long time. Then we added the sand to the 29 gallon and put the topper on top. This is just us decorating the entire tank. You can see we are going to move stuff around a lot. We did not know where we wanted anything. I'm kind of picky. So I put something there, then I decided I don't like it and move it to a new spot. And it still looks different from even the end result in this video. We'll have to update you. But once we added the Hermit Crest this tank, we realized we needed to change some things. So it's a little bit different even still. <laughs> You're constantly changing things when you own animals. And that is a good thing. 
Yep, just assess their needs, what they're using, um, how it's working, and then making changes uh, to enrich their environment, make it safe and usable. This log that we put in the back is a resin log. Do not use the real pine logs that you can find at the pet store. This is uh, just some grapevine wreaths that I found at Michael's Craft Store. And I'm just using some jute rope, which is Hermes safe, to create like a fun little um, ladder from the tree over to their little moss dish. Um, you can see the zip ties. That's what I use to attach them to the soap dish. And those won't rust or anything, so they're Hermes safe. This is, I think, a succulent holder. We're just using it as a moss pit. It's really cute. Yeah, it kind of has some grooves and everything, so that the hermit crabs can easily climb up there. And this is a grapevine basket, and that is inside of a basket holder. And this we're just using as their shell shop. And this is the final result. You can see up here at the top white silicone showing through, but we kind of thought it looked like rock, and so we left it. And then the shelf where we used the brown silicone um, looks kind of like the dirt ground. I think my favorite part about this tank is the grapevine bridge. I think it is so cute. But I also really like the top where it's hard to decide. I love how the little caverns turned out. Um, we actually ended up taking some sphagnum moss and putting a little bit of silicone on the back and then adhering it in those big caves that we carved out. And this is the final product. I hope you like it and we will show you who's going to live here soon. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Tell us your favorite part of the tank. We'd love to hear about it. Bye guys. See you next time.